I put my faith in God above, yet all I'd ever learned from love was how to shoot somebody who outdrew ya. Love came in making two to one, proclaiming God your kingdom come, and every breath we drew. Children are tucked in at night. Parents dream of peace and light, of love and hope and freedom and a future. So my name is Nadia Boltzweber. I am a pastor in the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. Maybe you heard of that. And. Uh, <laughs> And when people meet me and they're like, so what do you do? And I say, I'm a Lutheran pastor. They're never like, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> they, uh, they go, what do you do? And I'm like, I'm a Lutheran pastor. And they look at me like I'm lying or I'm joking, generally. And it's weird because it makes me feel like people have this idea of what Lutheran looks like. And I'm here to say sometimes people are wrong. Right? And this thing happened uh, when I was 22 years old, and it was that I somehow got clean and sober. I've been clean and sober by the grace of God and the fellowship of other alcoholics for over 20 years. So, yeah. But when that, when that happened, it, it didn't feel like I pulled myself up by my spiritual bootstraps, right? When that happened, it felt like a completely rude interruption from God. I was on this path towards destroying myself. And it's like God reached down and plucked me up and went, that's adorable, but I'm gonna put you over here. <laughs> and, um, and it, and now I know what that is, is that's the grace of God. At that point, I didn't have that language for it. All I knew was that it was a gift that was given to me and that I didn't earn it. And I just tried to live in response to that gift. As I look at the world around me, it isn't hard to find things that need to be changed. They're splashed all over news channels. And every time I walk past a newsstand, my gaze is bound to be met by a vivid front page picture of someone in need. One day, it could be those living in villages of West Africa where people exist on less than a dollar a day. Another day, it could be the shattered images of a war-torn Middle East. And today, it's the devastating headlines of Aurora, Colorado. Jesus calls each of us to not just read the headlines and look at the pictures, but to go and do something about it, to be the change. We are God's hands and feet in this world, and the challenge falls to us to hear God's invitation to go and build relationships, to walk with others as we serve God, to reflect God's light into the darkest of places in this world. And to say thank you is a true honor and privilege to be in the room with the next generation of world leaders. Looking for the kings and the Gandhis amongst our people. I am too little, I am too slim, I am too fat, 
We have all of the excuses. I don't know how to speak. So I need someone. I need a Jesus to come and save me. My message to you tonight is you are the hope. Each and every one of you, each and every one of us that God created have something unique in us. Everyone has a light. What you need to do is to search deep within yourself and find what is that light that I have in me. Oh